third day of India's largest tech and infra expo 2022 and I am here with Mr. Aman Patel. Hello Mr. Aman. Hi Manisha, I'm absolutely fine. Thanks for having me on board. So, uh, could you please tell us about uh, your company, like what does your company do and about you? Okay, so my name is Aman. I head the sales and marketing of the company V3C.ai. I have the position of Assistant Vice President. Our company is all about productivity. Our company is all about higher productivity delivered and more consistency in your organization. If you have employees, be it two employees, three employees, 20 or 2,000 employees, you would obviously request, you know, that I want the maximum utility from these people. But how to judge that? How to find the gaps? How to bridge the gaps? For that, we have this tool called v360.ai, which delivers higher productivity. It's an employee productivity analytics tool. The whole idea and the whole perspective that we provide is you should understand the behavior of individuals, your whole departments, and the whole in organization in general. And if you can identify the consistency and inconsistency, if there is any, in your organization, you can create checks and balances as soon as possible and you can bridge the gap. Even if someone is not happy with the hygiene factor of your organization, someone is going through personal stress, over exhausted, you can identify these specific departments and employees and you can make sure that your all the employees are healthy and happy. And a healthy employee and a happy employee will definitely deliver higher productivity. I think it sounds very healthy and productive. <laughs> so Mr. Aman, so this is our third day, yes. right? So you have seen a lot of things, first day, second day, third day. So how was your you know, overall experience here? Experience here? So experience wise, of the first term that comes to my mind is exposure. I met a lot of people, international delegates, I got to learn a lot. You know, it's my personal, at personal level, my career is just growing. So learning from different individuals is obviously good. Learning new technology is very good. So India Soft and this uh, Convergence Expo is a right stop for everyone who wants to learn. We're going to definitely come next year. In terms of traction, we met our own clients in this expo who have been using our product. So it's basically a SaaS product in the HR tech domain. And if you want, you can just contact us. But moreover about the expo, the experience have been quite fantastic. New uh, companies, new launches, meeting new individuals. We created a lot of contacts for our own uh, product as well. And we helped out uh, some other uh, companies as well through connection. So overall, the experiences have been very delightful. And uh, to sum it up, it's been fantastic. Like new people every day. I mean, like at a single point, you're meeting 200, 300 odd people and that to industry leaders, seniors and with new technologies. That's fantastic. So, man, you sound like very, very, uh, like, you know, exciting <laughs> and very uh, 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 enthusiastic, up, energetic. So, according to you, uh, which element do you like the most here? So what happens is when it comes to we talk about India and in talk of society, the, it's not more open. But when it, we enter into a startup uh, ecosystem or a corporate e ecosystem, we usually talk on first name basis. We usually talk on, you know, more productive outcomes. And that is what I've seen here. People are more open. I am 25. I am discussing with a 72 year senior manager of a like 5 lakh employee workforce. And he's being like a very candid to, uh, uh, candid discussion with me. So that is something which is makes a lot of difference. because. That kind of mentoring and guidance can help out our young selves, our company, and in fact, we can provide the same to towards some other individuals as well. So we can say that you get the enough exposure here. Yeah, yeah, the exposure was very good. So will you come here? Like, will you come next year? Definitely. So this was our first. Uh, we uh, this startup started last year, and when this expo was happening last year, we were not aware about it. But it's been a year. We have, we have grown to a lot of companies. We have about 600 uh, clients of, of our company using this product over eight countries, 15,000 user base. And we realize, okay, now we are growing. We need to move on a step ahead. We have recently uh, received our seed funding as well. The news is gonna come up in a week and probably we are gonna move towards a higher valuation. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. So that's the thing. Next year, definitely we're gonna visit back because yeah, it was beneficial for us. And uh, would you recommend this expo to your network? Obviously, I have already asked a few of my friends uh, from, so I'm a, I am grad, so I've already, uh, we have a lot of uh, batchmates who have started their own startups. I've already asked them, you should visit. And some of them who were in Delhi came, visited for a few hours, made a new contacts and you know, implemented some technologies in their own startups. So yeah, definitely. So Aman, one last question. How would you rate this expo, like India's uh, largest tech and infra expo, like to the organizer and to the crowd? Okay, uh, overall it was a 9 on 10. The only problem I found was, you know, I'll have to, I had to wait a lot for biryani. <laughs> right, that, right, it right. was perfect.
Because of the crowd. Yeah, yeah, because of the crowd. So it's so many people, you'll have to wait along the line if you biryani vehicle or any any food for that matter. Waiting for that was just a bit. Other than that, it's fine because I love biryani. So thank you so much, Amit. It's really much. nice to meet with you. Thank you so much.